So this is another wig that I made, which is a U-part wig with the Easy Blend, if you could see. I made this unit quite a long time ago, um, I think a little bit after making that one. And I'll bring it over here so you can see in the light. Um, as you can see, you can't even see any type of stitching on this wig because, there you go, you can see the tracks, but the stitches you can't see. And this one was much neater because I, I really got it down pat by this point. Um, so this wig was made on the sewing machine as well. So a bit of information um, regarding making wigs on the sewing machine. It's, it takes a certain technique to make it. Um, as you know, these caps are stretchable. So what happens is that um, if anyone you know is familiar with sewing, if you're to use like a jersey material when you're making a dress or a skirt or anything like that, and if when you're sewing you're pulling the fabric, when you're finished you're going to see a lot of lumps um, in the material. The same thing applies with this. If you are totally stretching this cap out and pulling it while it's sewing, what will end up happening is, is that when you put it on your head, you're going to feel like these little lumps and it's not going to lay flat. So there's a certain technique that's involved involved with sewing. It's not like you could just jump on the sewing machine and sew it and say, voila, you're done. Um, no, there is a technique behind it um, to, to sew the sewing machine. Is it easy? It's easy over time. The you know the first couple of times you do it, it's like trial and error. I suggest you buy some cheap hair, practice on that. Um, you know, make a bob wig or something, or even a curly wig where you know even if it's not laying flat, it's not really um, important. Like even if this wig right here, this curly wig that I had made didn't lay flat the first time that I made it, it didn't really matter because the curl is so poofy that it kind of hit it. But see, this is a a, a wig that needs to be flat and this one came out really really flat and nice right because at that this point I had already kind of perfected sewing it on the sewing machine um, I'm using regular thread um, you can use a polyester or cotton thread um, what else um, oh sometimes depending on the wig like you see in these types of areas right here and around the perimeter in the back I always cut like maybe four um, tracks like I'll cut the the wefts and so them I don't do the bend over method um, but this this wig right here that I had made this curly one I actually bent over the entire thing this was the first time I made it but this one I start with cutting maybe three or four here and then I start going back and forth without having to cut the weft and I bend the 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 um the weft over and I sew. There's a technique on how to do that as well. I will try to make another video that's a little bit more detailed explaining things because I've got a lot of questions that simply cannot be explained um, by the video that I had posted most recently. But there you can see some of the tracks and you're seeing some of the thread but really and truly that those stitches are like they're invisible. They're invisible. You 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 can't even see them. Um, so it's a neat, beautiful way to make wigs. Again, not everyone's going to be able to do it. It is a little bit frustrating if you don't have the patience. But you know, for me, um, this is what I do all day. <laughs> so um, I'm making wigs. Um, I construct wigs and whatnot. So you know, I have time to play around with it and and try to perfect it. And plus, I had a little experience um, prior with a sewing machine. So. Anyways, and <laughs> learning how to, I have an industrial machine as well, so I'm learning how to um, actually sew wefts as well. I'm teaching myself. Um, so uh, I have a bit of experience um, doing this. So anyways, that's the quick video I wanted to put up. And if there are any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the comments section. And rate, subscribe, and sharing is caring. I would really love and appreciate it if you could share my work. And um, yeah, be original, guys. So if you're going to post a video, be original about it. <laughs> okay, thanks. Bye.